The Revelation, Chapter 1. The Revelation of God, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bare record of the word of God, and of the testimony of God, and of all things he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Yowshak, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us. All right, Shalom. Woman. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, the bonds unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples for his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation, and hopeful look at their pushing his word and truth. And this a series across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, pushing to get up out of here, Shalom, to the hopeful look, the believers, the listeners who have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in y'all by shimao sha and what i want to get into all right this morning all right as you can see all right from the article um we live <laughs> in a very anti-messiah society all right and the masses of the people have no idea how wicked you know esau even the so-called white man is they have no idea how anti all right righteous <laughs> this man is okay this man is fully set against the bible he's fully set against your how about shim al shah okay matter of fact let's start off with their precept then we'll get back to this article man all right this is an actual oh, war all right that we're in the midst of okay and in the truth we've woken up to the fact that we're in a spiritual war okay and we have been awakened in righteousness, man. Okay, which puts us in opposition with this current society, you know, and that's why Esau was is slithering, you know, to form a narrative to come at, all right, the men of the Lord, man, to come at this truth, to come at this ministry, okay? Because this is a resistance to what this man wants to establish on the earth, man. All right, now you read Exodus 17 and Matter of fact, we started at 14. See, and, and, and these devils know what's in the scriptures. All right. They want to blot out prophecy concerning them. They want to block out the Bible. They want to blot out, you know, the most high's will in the earth. Okay. Because they understand what it says regarding them. This is Exodus 17 and 14. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven and one thing about as we understand this word you know as we have the spirit to understand the scriptures we understand the characters man okay and Amalek is the current ruling class the nobility of these Edomites today man these so-called white people man that run the earth okay but there's prophecy after prophecy that and <laughs> they're exterminated man where they don't exist you see and this is what the devil is bucking up against man he's bucking up against the narrative all right of the scriptures man okay that's why he pushes that plantation christianity that has nothing to do with the bible man you see but according to scripture there's going to come a time where this man doesn't exist in the earth man okay he's going to be removed from rulership in this third world's war at the return of Yahweh Shai, America is going to be turned to a desert, okay? And they're going to captivity a thousand years, and then they will cease to exist, man. Okay? Verse 15, And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Yahweh Nassah, which is Yahweh is my banner, okay? Which means the Lord is my banner, all right? Because we come, you know, under the banner of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, when you will go to war in the ancient world, even now, okay, the American troops, okay, they're, they're, they're scattered abroad. What do they have, you know, on their, you know, on their uniforms, man? They have that American banner, 
Okay, so no matter where they at, you know, it's understood that they come under that banner of America, man. Okay, well, we come in the banner of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, and our conduct and our belief. Okay, that's the that's the banner. That's our banner. So no matter where we at, we come under that same banner, man, this spiritual war. Okay, verse 16, it says, For he said, because the Lord has sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Okay? So we're in the generation as we speak. So there's a war going on between Amalek, all right, and Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay? And Amalek, he, he doesn't have, <laughs> you know, he, 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 there's no way that he can deal with the Most High. Okay, so his war is what? Against the Lord's people in the earth, man. Okay? But then it's going to be a physical war when Yahweh Shai turns, man. Yahweh Shai returns. Okay? That's going to be the Most High bringing it to this devil, man. Because he's going to bring it to the Lord's people. And then the Lord is going to bring it to him, man, in the form of Yahweh Shai. Okay? And this is where we at in prophecy, man. And <laughs> we're here. All <laughs> right? So, as you go here, what is this devil trying to do? This is um, uh, natural news. And it says, right now, with Ann Vandersteel, it says, Gary Benford says the world's destruction is rooted in getting rid of God. Okay? The world's destruction is rooted in getting rid of God, man. Okay? So, let's read some more. It said, podcaster Gary Benford told Ann Vandersteel that the ongoing destruction of the world is rooted in the idea of getting rid of God, okay? And you can tell that this society has become very godless, man. There's an agenda, all right, to do that, okay? Yeah, the people, you know, witchcraft is on the rise, okay? You have, you know, uh, abominable lifestyles, you know, being accepted. Lewdness is on the rise, Okay, everybody just doing their own thing in their pride, man. You know, no fear of a higher power. And this is what they at least want, man. No reverence, you know, of a higher power. Okay, their NWO is, is, is pure satanic, man. And wickedness and lewdness, man. Okay, the wickedness that vex us now, this is just the beginning of what this devil wants to bring to the earth and make the norm, man. Okay. It says, what people have to understand is the destruction of the world is predicated on getting rid of getting rid of God. Y'all, you will notice, nobody talks about getting rid of anything else that has to do with anybody except for, they say, Jesus Christ, which is the Messiah, man. His true name is Yahweh Shai. You know, in this council culture, this is the main thing they want to counsel. You see, Esau started this whole council culture kick, okay? To pretty much counsel anything that speaks against wickedness, man. Okay, anything that he can deem as hate. And and they already have talks about Bible being what? Hate speech. Okay? Matter of fact, let me see if I can um see if we can find it real quick. I'll tell what she uh um, the wickedness, man.
satanic convention this past weekend in Boston. This woman saying, Hail Satan, and ripping up the pages of the Bible. Listen, you can try to burn the Bible, rip the pages up, try to ban it. Even 52 countries currently have banned the Bible. But the Bible literally says that heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall stand and last forever. Listen, if you know that the word of God is the infallible truth, that it shall last and stand forever, share this video with somebody today. You can try to take it away. This video with somebody today you can try to take it away you can try to burn it you can try to ban it but god's word shall always last come on, <laughs> come on this is spirit you know he did random <laughs> the spirit was on the back you know <laughs> it was a beautiful precept man hey <laughs> you see this rule should gonna pass away but this word gonna remain okay esau is fighting an extremely uphill battle man <laughs> okay and he's finna lose <laughs> you see and it says you'll notice nobody talks about getting rid of anything that has to do with anybody except for the messiah he sat down during the episode he said during the episode of brighton.tv program right now with ann um vanderstil this whole thing is aimed at a God, it always has been aimed at God because either people are going to follow a benevolent God and look to him for the sustenance or look to government, but you can't look for both. Okay, so they're like, look, you're going to look to the God or the government. Okay, and this is why in this new world order, they want to do one government and, and, and that government is going to be under the God of Satan, man. Okay. Because the God of the Bible is completely against this place, man. And this is why, <laughs> okay? Because even the mo even your house shot said that as well, okay? Let me see. Let's find that. This is Matthew six and twenty four. And it says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. You know, because if you love this current society, you know, you're going to be at odds. When precepts start coming out, when the words start coming out, you're going to be heavily offended. And eventually, you're going to grow a hatred towards the word, man, as we've seen. Okay, even Christians, they say, they, 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 you know, we love the Lord, we love, you know, then you go into precepts. Okay, you find out they really love this society and they hate the Lord, man. That's why our scriptures say in uh, uh, Hebrews 4 and 12 that this word is a discerner of thoughts and intents. Okay? And this word come out, it's going to show who you love, man. <laughs> you see? This word is there's a great divider in the earth. And it says... No man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the most high and mammon. And he's talking about this world riches, man. All right. Because the true riches is his wisdom and which is going to lead to true abundance, man. All right. For the for the for the remnant of Israel, man. OK. So this is what we're seeing, the clash between righteousness and wickedness man okay and this devil is going with his move let's go here to uh saint john chapter 7 saint john chapter 7 and 7 says the world cannot hate you but me it hated because i testify of it that the works thereof are evil so as we testify against this place okay <laughs> it's gonna be more hatred man you see the world hates the standard of the scriptures okay women want to be liberated to continue to do what they want to do okay hot girl summers and you know independent women and all these different things niggas just want to be degenerates okay constant adultery and, and get rich by any means you see everybody wants to do what they want to do man Okay, and the Bible condemns it. See, this word condemns this society. <laughs> okay, and Esau, what he does, he wants to do. He wants to get rid of the word instead of correcting society. Okay, because it's not in him to do that, man, to correct the society in righteousness, man. 
Yahweh Shah is going to do that, man. You know, and if we're John Ayers, we're going to aid him in doing that, man. Everybody, like I say, wants to do. All right, follow out their lust, man. Follow after, you know, their, 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 their flesh. Okay? Everyone wants to have their own standard. Okay? Now we go to Isaiah 59 and 15. Say, yeah, true fellow, and he that departed from evil, making himself a prey. Okay? Truth is failing in this society, man. Okay? Only the remnant, okay, uh, are tapped back into righteousness, man. Or tapped back into truth. Okay? But in this society, truth faileth, man. And that's why this society is failing. All right? Because the, the, the standard of righteousness is meant to govern the earth, man. You know? And the further society gets away from there, the more decay... The more lewdness, the more perverseness, the more chaotic, the more violent society becomes, man. Okay? Because the powers that be don't operate in truth, man, but deception and wickedness, man. It says, yeah, true faileth, and he that departed from evil, making himself a prey. And that's us, man. This is why we're, we're being, you know, um, the stage is being set for us to be demonized as the problem of the earth, man. Because we stand for righteousness, man. It says, and the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Okay, so the Lord is going to bring judgment because there's no righteous judgment going forth in the earth. So the Lord is going to intervene and bring righteous judgment, man. Okay, first through all right, calamities. Okay, and then ending with, with, with war and Yahweh Shai. Okay, the righteous judge. Now, Let's read a little more. It says, Vander Steele agreed nothing that the American people are watching. All right. It's like noting, you know, Vander Steele agreed noting that the American people are watching the total meltdown of America. This, she added, was all organized by powerful and influential people. All right. In these elites, man. The co-chair of the uh, Zelenko Freedom Foundation lamented that this total urban and fam uh, familial decay across the country was a result of America and allowing what the founding fathers established 250 years ago to collapse. And they was wicked. <laughs> okay. It says, Ben for said, you have evil and that evil since at least... Karl Marx in the 1800s has been in the form of communism, Marxism, and socialism, progressivism, whatever you want to call it. And it's just a matter of how long a country, okay, can survive it. According to the host of United Patriot Uprising, Marx and Italian, and Italian communist Antonio um, Gramsci wanted to get rid of God, Christianity, and Western culture, these left, leftist ideas into America through Columbia University in 1935 and have since taken root in, in the colleges. Later, Saul Alinsky, Rules for Radicals, established the way, all right, established the way how these ideologies can be put into action to get rid of God, okay? Hey. <laughs> You see, this is the this is the agenda. You see, these and, and, and pretty much this whole school system is anti-Messiah. All right, then you go into a college which is more Masonic and anti-Messiah, and then they turn you loose in the world, man. All right, to where you confuse and debt. All right, uh, uh, open to every damn thing. All right, and a lot of women pretty much ran through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep reading. It says, in 1958, former federal agent W. Cleon Skousen revealed that the communists are trying to take over America. He mentioned that the goal of the communists was to get control of schools, promote pornography, easy divorce and social religion, get rid of God, get control of the media and motion pictures and steer everything towards socialism. Okay. And one thing about it, you know, is this devil, you know, uh, 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 
confuse everyone on sex. You know, when he made sex, you know, casual and just something to do. You know, that was a major blow, you know, to morality, man. You know, when he took away the family structure, when he took away women having virtue, okay? You know, with it with you know, preserved their virginity. When he took these things away, okay, and and made, you know, hook up culture and norm, that was a major blow to morality, man, because now you know, uh, you have a lot of, uh, of of broken families, okay? Because uh, now you're having sex and you're not thinking about, you know, um, uh, a father figure. You know, you're having sex, you're not thinking about legacy as a man. You know, women having sex, they're not thinking about a suitable father, you know, for children. You see? And what, and what does that lead to, man? Broken families, okay, which, which which leaves the next generation pretty much in the hands of what the state, okay, and and subject and, 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 and vulnerable for these enchantments, man. A lot of children have been raised by what, man, the, the TV, the culture, okay, and they played a big part in the decay of this society, man. <laughs> you see. Because the parents are supposed to be the teachers, man. The mother being the first teacher and then, you know, eventually the father, you know, would teach and guide, you know, into manhood, okay, into adulthood, all right? Well, nah, Esau <laughs> destroyed the family structure and he became the parent, you know? And what did he teach? Satanism, man, okay? In the form of, of, of thought culture and street culture and, and, and liberal liberal culture okay and say once you take god out of your country you're on the way down being forewarned because without the moral compass of truth you are not going to know what is truth and truth from error okay and let's end here with these few isaiah 59 and fifth uh no i read that Let's get Proverbs, you know, and as this nation, right, this society has moved from the most high, it's on, it's on a down spiral, and this is the norm, okay, you know, to get that as well, Proverbs 14 and 34 said, righteousness exalted the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people, okay, so as righteousness exalted the nation, on the flip side, sin is a reproach to any people. Okay? <laughs> Verse 35, the king's favor is toward a wise servant. See, the elect of Israel is likened to wise servant, man, beginning with the men set up to teach. All right? And we're finna receive favor from the king, man. Okay? The inheritance of the earth. It said, but his wrath against him that caused him shame. And this is what this devil is doing, man. He is he's creating a shame, a shameful society, man. Okay? A godless society, man. Alright? But I say the scriptures put you up on game. How this man thinks and how he maneuvers and operates, man. This is Job 21 and 14. It said, Therefore they say, and this is speaking of the wicked. Therefore, they say unto the Most High, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. Okay? And this is how the people think they run the earth, man. This is how these devils think, man. Amalek. Okay? <laughs> what is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Because this man has been prosperous in wickedness, man. So he doesn't see... The, the, the benefit of righteousness, man. Okay, he's like, look, we've prospered in doing what we want to do, how we want to do it. Okay, what's the point of being righteous when we can prosper in wickedness, man? Okay, and that's why he's like, look, we really, let's just get rid of the most high in the earth, man. Okay, that's his thought. Verse 16, Lord, he said, Lo, their power is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. Okay, and what these devils are plotting, scheming, is far from the counsel of Yahweh by Shema Shai and what he wants to establish. Okay, they're within their role, 
being the adversary against righteousness, man. Okay, but the Lord has an, an end game for righteousness to rule the earth, man. Okay, and this is why the devils are into, you know, neurology and want to put things in, in, in your forehead. Okay, these devils want to control your thoughts, man. And what do you think they want to delete? Okay, you had people that were taking the juice saying that, that they felt like they wasn't human anymore, man. Okay. Feel like you know they uh, they were separated from God, so imagine what the sea hip was going to do, man. Okay, and this is the society that he wants to establish in the earth, earth man, a godless nation, man. He said, "Lo, their good is not in their hand; the counsel of the wicked is far from me. How oft is the counsel of the wicked put out, and how oft cometh their destruction, okay, upon them?" The Most High distributed sorrows in his anger. Okay? So how oft is the count of the wicked put out? You see? <laughs> Oftentimes, man. Okay? How oft cometh their destruction? All these wicked empires that then came and the Most High has destroyed. What's different about this one, man? Okay? Well, this one is going to receive the greatest destruction ever, man. Where the earth is going to shake, you know, with the fall of these devils, man. Okay? So, that's the point. You know, Lord, will you, brothers? And you few sisters edified till next time I say shout one.